in Nigeria. It is our prayer that you will receive strength from Almighty to continually contribute your quota as the watchdog of society towards securing Nigeria from the shackles of injustice, corruption and impunity, especially in the management of our electoral system. The Coalition of Civil Society Organization from, for Credible Election believes that Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, best with the powers and responsibility of conducting free, fair and credible election ought to exercise such powers for the sake of doing justice to all manners of persons. INEC as an impartial arbiter must ensure that election into public offices is not turned to a mere commodity in the marketplace, which can be bought and sold at will. They must remember that where justice is lacking, oppression and high-handedness uh, high will become inevitable in the society. We consider it opposite to extract some of the recent happening in the just concluded presidential and national assembly election because our nascent democracy depends, depends on how INEC conduct elections at various levels, which is the building block for democracy, democratic consolidation consolidation and its sustenance in our dear country. Our focus today is on the Shinagigan orchestrated by ANEC and the frontline declaration of Senator Ifan Yuba as the winner of the Anambra South Senatorial District while in reality there was no election in the district. Let alone a winner emerge. The situation is unpalatable to us. As concerned citizens, we believe in free, fair and credible election. What is more worrisome is the is that INEC now collude with fraudsters to manipulate elections in fragrant violation of the Electoral Act 2022. As amended, we, alongside other civil society organizations, we have worked tirelessly to advocate for credible and transparent elections. We cannot therefore fold our arms and watch and watch Anambra State Resident Electoral Commission wreck, wreck Mrs. Queen Elizabeth Agu destroyed the reputation and credibility of INEC for self-serving material aggrandizement. Our anger today lies with Mrs. Queen Elizabeth Agu, who is hell-bent on perpetrating electoral fraud in order to please her paymaster. We must, at this juncture, call on the chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, to take immediate disciplinary action against Mrs. Queen Elizabeth concerning series of unethical practices and it is our contention that, that she is unfit to continue to serve as the resident electoral commissioner rec, of Anambra State. Mrs. Queen Elizabeth Agu must not be treated as the proverbial sacred cow. She must be shown the way out of the INEC in order to serve as deterrent to other frontline minded residential electoral commissioner who will stop at nothing to drag INEC into this group for their own selfish gains. It is based on the foregoing premises that we demand as follows. Total cancellation of election in Anambra, Anambra South Senatorial District due to malpractices, toggery, voter inducement, violence, shooting, intimidation of voters, and above all, fragrant viol violation of the 2022 Electoral Act. Finally, let it be on record that we do not hold brief for any individual or entity as a civil society organization, we must nonetheless continue to discharge our responsibility as responsible citizens by speaking out, speaking up wherever evil prevails. We will not rel relent but continue to engage the media and relevant stakeholders in the struggle for credible election until justice is not only done to all the parties consigned in this matter, but seen clearly by every reasonable observer to have been done. Once again, we thank you all for coming and pray almighty. Continue to guide and protect you and protect our country in Nigeria. Thank you.